in the book of Agai chapter 1 verse 8. Agai chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible says, Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house. And I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, said the Lord. Go up to the mountain and bring forth the wood and build the house. And I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, said the Lord. Go to that mountain and have that good interaction and relationship with the Lord. And the Lord Almighty will grant the desires of your heart in Jesus' name. In the book of Nahum chapter 1 verse 5, Nahum chapter 1 verse 5, the Bible says, The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the head is burnt at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein, the mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the head is burnt at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every power hindering my success in life. You are a failure. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power hindering my success in life. You are a failure. Die in the name of Jesus. Say, every power hindering my success in life. You are a failure. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What are we looking today? Today's topic is climbing uphill, dreaming. Climbing uphill, dreaming. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. Climbing uphill requires several energy and hard work. Did you see yourself climbing a hill in a dream? If yes, it means you need to work even harder in order to reach your goals in life. Spiritually, a hill in your dream may represent a type of problem in your life that you need to overcome with your strength, that you need to overcome with that energy in you. However, if you are climbing the hill with enough of obstructions on the way or with no effort on your part to push harder while on that hill, then there is high chance that you will give up in your current pursuit in life. God forbid, keep asking the Lord to grant you that grace to finish strong and to finish well in Jesus' name. But if you are climbing the hill, you are climbing the mountain to the point of getting to the top in that dream, it may success and victory on their way in your life. Say amen. Congratulations. Keep on working harder. Very soon, you will be successful. Very soon, you will be celebrated. Very soon, you will rejoice. Very soon, you know, you will break forth in life, in destiny, in Jesus' name. Because when you are climbing a hill in the dream, when you are climbing the mountain, it's as a result of your effort, you know, pushing other in order to reach in or to, to get to that mountain term, to, to get to that freedom, to get to that deliverance, to succeed in your family. I pray, may the Lord give you that grace to succeed in Jesus' name, to dream of standing on the peak of that mountain. This is a sign of rising to success, rising to fame, rising, you know, in wealth, rising in so many good things of life. It could also be a sign of victory deliverance and freedom get ready you are going to be promoted to higher position in life in jesus name i pray for you those who look down on you today will only discover that you are no longer on the ground but now on the top in jesus name to dream or see yourself coming down from the hill or coming down from the mountain it means you are going to achieve your success at ease at a very faster time if you see yourself falling from the hill or mountain in that dream it means downfall it means delay it means stagnation. It could also relate to failure to achieve something. It could also put, you can also put it at failure at the edge of breakthrough. It means there are some powers that are pushing you down, you know, bringing you down in life. They do not want you to fulfill your destiny. This is usually a sign that you have been manipulated by the devil. You need to pray hard so that you can rise and bounce back again in Jesus' name. The Bible says, when I fall, I shall arise again in Jesus' name. To see a lot of people climbing hill or mountain in the dream, it means you are going through a lot of challenges in life. But don't worry, the Lord will see you through if you don't give up in your prayers. To dream of someone helping or assisting you climbing the hill or mountain in that dream, it means you have good people around you who are there to support you, who are there to favor you, who are there to help you and assist you in life in order for you to succeed, in order for you to get to the peak of your success. If you have people like that, you need to, you know, get closer to them. Do not take them for granted. To dream of having trouble while climbing the hill or mountain, it suggests difficulties and embargo 
against your sources. But if you are climbing the hill or mountain with no troubles on your path, then it means everything will go on well as planned and you will accomplish your goals faster than you imagine it to be. Climbing a hill or mountain in the dream could indicate your desire to pray or have that good relationship with God. As being, you know, said in the book of Haggai, dreams of climbing hill or mountain tells you that you have to make that effort today in order to reach your goals faster. Success does not come easy. You should work for success and success will embrace you in Jesus' name. If you see someone pushing you down from the peak of that mountain, from the peak of that hill in that dream, in the realm of the spirit, it means that you have someone who is working hard to see your downfall, to see your failure, and to see you, you know, collapse, your, your, your career, your marriage collapse, to, and to make sure that you never rise again. Be very careful of that type of people. I pray for you. Anyone that is planning evil against you, anyone that is planning a trap, planning to set you up, planning to bring you down, I pray the Lord Almighty will frustrate them in Jesus' name. Perhaps there's someone in your life who does not have good plans for you. He or she is evil. Kindly flee from that person. I pray for you today. You will not fall. You will not fail. Even if you fall in the name of Jesus, you will bounce back again. Please also know that every disappointment is a blessing. Every disappointment is a blessing. May God see you through in life in Jesus' name. Instruction, embark on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Embark on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. 6 p.m. Can you read the following Bible references? Mark 11 verse 23, Matthew chapter 17 verse 20, Zechariah chapter 4 verse 7, Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17, and lastly, Isaiah chapter 49 verse 11. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every barrier on my way, clear away by fire. In the name of Jesus, every barrier on my way, clear away by fire. In the name of Jesus, every barrier on my way, clear away by fire in Jesus' name. See, I receive the power to conquer my mountains. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to conquer my mountains. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to conquer my mountains. In the name of Jesus, I receive the power to conquer my mountains. I receive power to conquer my problems in Jesus' name. See, I declare that my labors are not being vain. In the name of Jesus, I declare that my labor shall not be in vain. Open your mouth and pray. Say, I declare that my labor shall not be in vain, starting from today, in Jesus' name. Say, powers that says I will not get to the top, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that says I will not get to the top, die in Jesus' name. Take this last prayer point. Say, oh God, arise and rescue me from my problems today, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and rescue me from my problems. Rescue me from my problems today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree to you today, every effort you have put together in order to achieve your goals, in order to get married, in order to be successful, in order to have that financial breakthrough, that effort you are putting together, you know, in order to, you know, to, to experience open doors, open heaven, I pray. May the Lord grant the desire of your heart. May you never labor in vain. May you eat the fruit of your labor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.